What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I always bring you guys the most interesting Tesla content that you can't find elsewhere. So make sure you guys are subscribed for the latest and greatest. Uh, so I wanna talk about an app called Drive Time Trivia. I tested it out. It's actually pretty cool and it works well uh, in your Tesla. So uh, it is available for Android and iOS and I will have a link for both of those in the description below. Uh, so basically it's a trivia game every day in the morning uh, well, every day I wake up in the morning, it has a new free trivia that you can play. Uh, if we go to the menus here, you can see there's leaderboards. Uh, you can actually play with your friends. And then if we go here, uh, they actually have like a premium membership where you can like subscribe. I don't know the cost. I just kind of play the free ones, uh, which work well. Now I'm going to have a live demonstration in my Tesla uh, in just a moment. But you can see there's like quite a bit of previous episodes. But like I said in the beginning, there's a free uh, version of this every morning you can play a free version so uh it's pretty cool uh definitely give it a shot and uh let, let's go through a live demonstration here all right so in order for this to work you have to have your car connected to bluetooth on your phone and uh make sure you click uh phone down here and then over here you can actually just hit play and like i said before they have subscription services and stuff Cole like that Dion was 39 years old in 1985 when she posed for the cover of an iconic men's lifestyle and entertainment magazine founded by hugh hefner question one literature for 10 points goldie hawn posed for the cover of which men's magazine at the age of 39 playboy penthouse hustler Playboy. And the answer is Playboy. Playboy magazine was founded by Hefner in Chicago in 1953, partially funded by a loan of $1,000 that Hef got from his mother. It became famous not only for its centerfolds and photos of nude models, but also for in-depth celebrity interviews like the one with Han and short fiction. Stephen King used to write for Playboy. He put a lot of short stories in there. I only read it for the stories, of course. Alvin was also correct. The score is 10 to 10. It's all tied up. The 1986 Goldie Hawn movie Wildcats was about the daughter of a famous football coach who gets her own team to coach in inner city Chicago. Question two, sports and leisure for 10 points. What is the name of the National Football League team from Chicago? Cubs, Bears, Vikings. Bears. And the answer is Bears. The Bears franchise was founded in 1920 and is one of only two original NFL franchises along with the Cardinals who also started in Chicago and are now based in Arizona. Wildcats was not well received by critics but has the unique distinction of being the movie that started the film careers of Woody Harrelson and Wesley Snipes. Alvin was also correct. The score is 20 to 20. It's a draw. So as you guys can see, it asks you questions. There's different like categories of trivia and you can keep going. Uh, you actually get to play against other people. You can play with friends and I'm just gonna pause it here for a sec here. But you can play with friends. Uh, if you get it wrong, the screen well, like brightens up red. Uh, but you can totally drive and play a trivia game and actually play against other people live. Uh, leaderboards, friends, all sorts of stuff. So I just thought this was a cool app. Uh, once again, I'll have a link in the description below for iOS and Android uh, if you guys want to give this a go. Uh, as always, make sure you guys like the video if you enjoyed this content. Leave a comment down below. Did you enjoy this? Is this something you're interested in? And as always, make sure you guys are subscribed for the latest and greatest Tesla. Most importantly, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.